back to Superior Sunrise. Like I said, when we were going to commercial break, we were going to have a very special guest on with us, Casey Anderson. Casey is our Superior Livestock intern for this fall, and we're, we're glad to have you. I know it's a crazy busy season that we're getting into with um, bull production sales and different things like that. We have a horse timed auction that, you know, Michael was just talking about. But you have such a great and interesting background. I mean, your family is very integrated into the livestock industry. So give us a little background about yourself and tell us a little bit about, you know, kind of your family's background in the livestock industry. Yeah, so I'm originally from um, southeastern Colorado. I grew up on a ranch there. Um, I've got three younger siblings, Larkin, Ace, and Owen, and we're the fourth generation. Mm -hmm. And then my mom is from a ranching family here in Fort Worth, so it's been really awesome to grow up and be able to experience how the ag industry differs between two such drastically different places. Between Fort Worth and rural Colorado, so much is different, but um, it's, it's been awesome to see those changes and how people adapt to that. Um, tell us a little bit what it's like kind of growing up on a ranch and being a part of a ranching family like yours. I mean, you guys ranch obviously in Colorado, like you said, and then Texas. I know you guys have places in New Mexico as well and uh, maybe a couple other places. Um, but you guys are very a diverse operation. Yes. And you've got a lot of moving parts to make it happen. So what was that like kind of growing up and then now continuing to still be in the industry? Right, right. So it's been awesome growing up of be, having to deal with all that diversity and having mm -hmm. to stay on your toes and be able to understand um, so many different parts of uh, being in the cattle business and knowing that it is a business. And um, so it's been it's been an awesome way to grow up, honestly. And I'm excited to continue my career in the ag industry. Do you see more young um, individuals? I know. Tell us a little bit about you going to school and things like that, um, and what you're studying and things like that, but. Do you see a lot of your friends, maybe who grew up in the same industry, not wanting to come back into it as much? I mean, what's your, your driving force to come back and be a part of the industry? Right. Um, so I graduated recently in May from West Texas A&M University, which has an awesome ag program. So I graduated with my bachelor's of agribusiness and economics. And so honestly, my driving force is just knowing how much I enjoyed growing up and knowing how much um, how many opportunities there really are in the ag industry and I think that's been a really honestly fun thing to be able to pursue as a career and I do I see I see a lot of my friends not wanting to do that because they just don't see the opportunities as much as I do but if you if you stick with it it'll pay off it'll pay end. off yep I think that's the biggest thing I think I noticed too. I'm um, growing up in farming more so, but my family had a small Angus operation. I just didn't know if I wanted to get back into right. it because it is. It's a little nerve wracking, especially as um, the industry grows, but you know, people continue yes. to grow with it and you don't see a lot of younger generations um, coming back to the ranches and the farms per se. But I think it's really interesting that you guys have such um, a neat family history in it yes. you know I know Missy might be in there today sure. and she might be buying cattle and I just I think it's really great to have you a part of the superior family on that aspect of it but now have you in the office yes. with us so we're excited to have you here I want to thank you for being on this morning sharing a little bit about your family history and yeah. your story in the livestock industry well thank you well thanks for being on when we come back Ralph Wade don't go anywhere <laughs> 